Alright folks, but you can use idiot, we are back. Let's uh let's just Marconi. Yep. All this time for pretending he was an artist at tipping us off about Pickering, and now it turns out he's been in Dream Life's pocket all along. Well, we already knew Marconi was working for them, but that doesn't mean I'm telling you he's rotten, Ace. Let's go talk to Marconi, and that weasel better not lie to us this time. Oh, crap. I didn't realize that we had told Marconi about Pickering. Did we? Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Sugar Agent Ace, what's going on? The atmosphere in here is pretty icy. What's going on is that you lied to us, Marconi. We saw you come out of the dome. You said you didn't have access to it. And I didn't. I pestered Rosetta for months to let me see what my company's guarding, but she always refused. Today was the first time I ever stepped foot in that thing. One of Rosetta's assistants gave me the tour, then I was sent on my way. Well, funny that today's also the day Dr. Pickering's been murdered, but I'm sure you had nothing to do with it, right? Pickering, you mean the scientist they flew in from England? The one I tipped you off about? Wait, you're not thinking I killed him, right? Whatever your deal was with Pickering, I stayed out of it. So you say. We'll find out the truth soon enough. And when we do, it's over for you. See, Marconi doesn't have anything that he's wearing that's, that's you know, the same as everything else. So I just don't think it's Marconi. If you had anything to do with Rupert's death, I swear I won't be responsible for what I do to him. I agree. We should get back on the case. Rupert must have had living quarters somewhere in the dome. It's high time we checked them out. Yep. Well, like someone mentioned in um, while I was collecting stars, a saw got away with murder. Um, she got left off of murder, so chances of Jones being left off murder if um, he's avenging the death of uh, of Rupert. I think we're all we'll all be okay with that. So this is where Rupert spent the last day, a few days of his life. Ace, and that's Rupert's fake beard, the one he used to disguise himself as Pickering. If the beard is here, then that must mean this is where Rupert first got attacked before he ran out of the dome, and the killer was here. There's a strange powder on the beard. Let's take a sample. And that basket looked like it was rummaged through it. Let's have a look. And what about that newsletter? The headline says, new addition to the geologist department. Could it be about Pickering? We better retrieve that picture. This could be our breakthrough race. Let's keep a stiff, stiff upper lip and get through this. Still sad. Like my st stomach still feels, or my chest is like, it just doesn't feel good. So that's better you got from Rupert's fake beard to Amir Ace. Oof. I wish someone else could be the one with instead of Amir that we're sending this stuff to. Just sucks. This newsletter talking about really is Pickering. Look, that's Rupert disguises him. And look at Rupert's smile. Back then, none of us knew that this undercover mission would end in tragedy. We need to figure out who the scientist is who welcomed him. Let's check the database, Ace. I told you there's going to be another scientist, but I thought it was one that we'd already met. This looks like it's a brand new person. Oh, goodness, man. This is just. This is rough. Uh-oh, the poison spray. Um, Ace, I doubt that little spray with the skull and crossbones logo was part of the gift basket. Wait, you're right. Martinez Rupert and sprayed in the face with whatever poison killed him. This could be what the killer used. 
Ace, be careful not to breathe any of it in. We need to get this to our team right away. Yeah, we all really like Rupert. I mean, that's what's, ma that's what's making this so difficult. Oh, is it Kian? Hey, Keto. What's going on? Philip Hoover. Hey, it's the guy shaking Pickering's hand in the newsletter. Is a certain Philip Hoover. Apparently he's the head of the meteorite department, so basically he was Rupert's boss. Let's go find him, Ace. I wonder what Hoover thought of Pickering. I don't know, guys. That to me looks like Kian. For sure. Totally, right? Am I the only person? I didn't realize he was in the, in the game. That's awesome. <laughs> Dr. Hoover, we have some questions concerning your deceased colleague. Warmer Pickermer, can you allow me to finish my protein bar security today? I despise wasting time, which is why these are the only meals I indulge in. Now, what did you say you were here for? Oh, right, Pickering, a tragedy. I'll admit, I expected more from this renowned expert. I had read his blog and was looking forward to meeting him, but more than once it felt like I was more of an expert than he was. It was, rather, it was a rather considerable waste of time. Oh, well, I'm sorry another human being and fellow colleague waste your time before being brutally killed. Secret Agent Ace, I think we're done with Dr. Hoover for now. Yeah, but they aren't going to have the name the same. I mean, just think of Jack Archer. Jack Archer was based off of me, but there's nothing there. Well, I guess people could say that Ace was in the name. But, uh... Good thing you just have that can ace, you would have been dead in minutes. Oh, so this is what killed Rupert. This is our murder weapon. Well, without a doubt, the composition matches the trace I found on Rupert's face down to the strange use of hemlock. I've never seen anything like it before. But that information won't help you catch the killer. However, I did find something else that will. There's a very faint handprint on the can. I couldn't tell any fingerprints, but I got one clue, and that the killer is right handed. Alright, so right handed. Ace, that's another black mark on my Koenig's file. He's right handed too. Jones, you know way too much about Marconi. And I'm not saying that, that they based it like solely off of Kian, but gosh, he looks a little bit like him. Hey, so I'm doing my best. You asked me to analyze the sample. I analyze the sample, I do my job, I'm doing everything right. But nothing's right, Ace. My world's falling apart. I know, I know, I know. Amir, please take a deep breath. Are you sure you're okay continuing work? Maybe Martine can take over. Well, no. If you take my job away, then I'll be of no use to anyone. I gotta push through. Alright then, Amir. You got this. Focus on one task at a time. What did you discover from the powder found on uh, his beard? Well, the powder came from sleeping pills. I checked with Martine, and there weren't any traces of it in Rupert's system. Which means the killer is the one taking sleeping pills. But so does Jasper. He's been so excited since the news of the meteorite. He's been taking sleeping pills to fall asleep. Alright, Amir, calm down. Just because the killer takes sleeping pills and Jasper takes sleeping pills does not mean the killer is Jasper. And we're going to prove it by finding more clues. I agree, Ace. We should return to the forest. Golly, man. Amir wasn't going to leave. I was pretty sure he wasn't going to leave. Yeah, Jasper better not be the killer. That is probably bigger... That would have been a bigger betrayal than um, than anything. I mean, since the judge. Well, I can still see Rupert's body on the path, Ace. You're right. We need to stay focused on the clues. The leather briefcase is black on that. This is Pickering, Ace. We need to unlock it. What are those weird broken metal fragments? We gotta piece them back together. Every clue brings us closer to Rupert's killer, Ace. Let's get to work.
Oh, great. I was missing. I was just thinking to myself, I could really use a codec right now. I really could. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yep, this is, ex this is exactly what I've been looking for, was the codex. Well, well, Ace, I'm not sure what this device is and what it was doing in Rupert's bag. But... You're right, it has a DreamLock logo on it and a button. Let's click it. Well, this is a message for Dr. Pickering. This, that's a holographic message, and it's from the therapist. Pickering, you better come talk to me. Wow, Ace, that, what was that angry message about? Let's go talk to Dr. Kelly. Dude, the more that I'm doing this, the more I'm not liking it. Like, I'm just, I don't, the more we're doing this, the more I'm realizing that he's actually dead and I don't like it. Oh, hey, it's not like the look of this blade. It seems dangerous. We should send it to Rita. Ace, this whole thing is so unfair, I swear. I'm so mad I could break something. As long as it's not my neck. Were you still able to look in that blade we found at the scene of the crime? It wasn't used on Rupert, right? No, it wasn't. It's not a weapon, it's a tool. It's actually used for tillage and agriculture, although you still need a permit for it. Agriculture? But there's not a field for miles around. What was it doing outside the dome? That's because it's got another less official use. What? That's not good. Gangs use it to dispose of bodies. So you're saying someone was about to chop Rupert up? Not just anyone, that chick Bellamy. Her DNA was all over the handle. What? That blade belongs to Bellamy? Ace, what if she was trying to get rid of the body? We need to talk to her now. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Dude, this is getting worse and worse. So sorry, Secret Agent Ace. I simply don't have to talk to you. I have a million appointments this afternoon, and we're already behind schedule. I better reschedule my self-defense class. There's no way I'll make it in time tonight. I'm afraid this has to be your priority, Dr. Kelly. We found the message you left Mortimer Pickering, yelling at him to come see you. Oh, well, you found that? I can explain. Pickering kept canceling our sessions, and he was making me look bad. Well, God forbid we make you look bad. I was just expecting results from those sessions. If people don't talk to me, it's my head on the line. Pickering kept making excuses. It got me so worked up that even my sleeping pills can't knock me out. You seem to be a lot of under stress, Dr. Kelly. Let's hope this didn't bring you to any rash action. Uh, I could totally see this being her. Miss Mel Bellamy, not only did you see the body, but we have proof that you were trying to dispose of it. We found your blade. Secret Agent Ace, what are you talking about? I use that tool for harmless gardening. Oh, really? You often till fields, do you? Come off it. We know that thing can be used to chop up bodies. Why would I need to do that? If I felt threatened, I'd just use my karate skills. I told you, Secret Agent Ace, I never even saw the body. You can't prove anything. Well, you're not fooling us, Miss Bellamy. And if you did kill Pickery, Secret Agent Ace will find out soon enough. Just, I don't think it's her. The case is taking its toll on me, Ace. Everyone keeps lying to us. Marconi, the therapist, Bellamy, and even Jasper. All we know so far is that whoever killed Rupert also figured out who he was, and... Oh, great. Ace, this is all... This is all over. The, invest, the, the case, my life, everything. Amir, are you feeling alright? You just don't understand. There's no need to, to continue this investigation because I know who did it. I know who the traitor is. It's Jasper. Jasper killed Rupert. He did not. He did not. That's a red herring. Don't go off the deep end, Amir. We'll help you out in the, in the next chapter. And I'll see you guys then. It's been Pichini's Over and out.